So we're going process image and you can see you have a different compositions. Um, I just narrowed down one, however, it's many more other ones can work as well. It was shot F 7.1. Um, I like a little bit sharpness because if I needed to add blur, I can add in post production if needed. And also, it's an ISO 100, 1125 uh, shutter speed shot in the studios. Currently, I think this is just with one light setup. So we go ahead, open this inside, and by default, it's a CR3, so it will open in Camera Raw for us. And in Camera Raw, I want to kind of notice that I'm working with a 16 bit depth and space color space Adobe RGB. So we want to do um, change our highlights and this by default if we look closer we can see right here we have some information too bright. Um, it's nice things to shoot in the camera raw because we can take our highlights bring them down and you can see we can quite a bit nicely compensate so I want to do little bit flatten out here uh, it's not total flat because we'll have it our orange and yellows a little bit up and be sure the set sharp sharpness maybe around 70 still restore um okay there you go restore some of the sharpness was lost with anti alistin filter inside the canon r5 it's what we're shooting with Okay, when we're done with this, let's go ahead and click open and we'll just open this file inside camera, inside the Photoshop. Also notice there was add compensation for the lens distortion and other ones was enabled as well. Okay, in this um, case, we're going to create new layer and we'll just watch call retouching. Okay, right here, this is just small touch up. We're going to use a spot healing brush tool for this. We don't need to do very fancy because actually she have a very nice beautiful skin. So we'll just only a couple of few things need to be touched up here. Mostly it's one that to take a little bit eye focusing on. Okay, just small touch up here going. We'll go over hands. Uh, right here I don't like how it's look. We'll just fix it. Because it's very, very teeny tiny stuff. spots that can drag your eye to this don't worry about this one too much this is from um textile kind of texturing on her hand which is we can fix it with the softer afterwards we'll leave it that one here um nails we can kind of fix a little bit you can see the broken usually we can just smooth them out i don't worry too much about this because we're going probably darken them out but you can always kind of going around and just move a little bit edges so they don't jump out too much. Okay, right there. Okay, we can just go a little bit smooth out, coloring. There, there you go. Let's go zoom out. Don't worry. Because those ones will be going in the shadows anyway. We don't need to really worry about them that much. I think that's all. If we look on a layer, we don't have that much changes. Just a little bit touch up there and there. Okay, next, let's go Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E to take all and combine. This is, will be our smoothness. And this is just help to reduce some um, noise for us. Okay, so let's go ahead right here we'll go on a skin and we'll go to filter noise dust and scratches applied um, i think maybe it's we should go maybe about 35 the radius it will be depend on the resolution overall and how many details so 35 it will go hold down alt or option and click on a mask it will create a black mask hiding from us we'll take our brush 10% opacity, 100 flow, about smoothness, man, let's go about 29.30, it's fine, and we'll start smoothing out. So what do we do? We're just kind of applying this um, removing of detailizations. So one thing, keep in mind, I'm doing this mostly on her skin. I'm avoiding hair, avoiding eyelashes, eyes. We will avoid lips. So anyway, we, 
we want to actually have it higher details we want to stay away from this area and if we look on a brush right now you can see we're kind of going around it just on your faces okay only the skin kind of applied we don't need to have it too much you can increase if you want to create a very um plasticky porcelain look you can go crazy and totally smooth out um, keep in mind that is very important this step need be proceed before we actually start working on creating shapes with dutch and burn so if you do after you will use some dutch and burn effect that we don't need to do um, we're done with a facial going with the hands and of course we need to um, work on uh, other areas otherwise if we don't do everywhere it will look very inconsistent and we can add if texture become too smooth it's okay we'll go uh, use it later in noise generation to just create some of those uniform skins let's go leave it right there this is maybe too bright i'll just want to add a little bit smoothness to this to hide to her skin okay we'll go right there smooth out a little bit more okay zoom out let's go on the legs now same things we'll just smooth a little bit more and in some cases where the legs we may need smooth add a little bit more density to the smoothing there the idea is not just create smooth skin what's happening small details texture and everything this is what will draw our attention in an image so we have a high detailization on the skin we kind of stop and we'll pay attention however i want to pay attention to her eyes in this shot so for us to reduce detailizations on the skin help us um kind of be sure we're just looking only in one specific focusing on her eyes so this is how we control and we can also smooth out here it's how we control area of focus for the people in our image okay well almost done we'll just go ahead just smooth out a little bit on the legs and be sure you smooth every everything because yes otherwise um it's really inconsistency will start coming up quite a bit obvious okay i'll go with the foot I'll go right there let's go ahead and now we can go alt and click so we can preview um areas you can see where we miss it so we can kind of just touch a little bit in those areas okay also other things as mask selected we go to filter blur and we'll using the garden blur on this just a little bit smooth out edges so it's not going to be so hard we don't need to do too much just a little bit but this will help remove some gradient or stuff so right here you can see we have it smooth on her skin next let's clean up a little bit hair um and this one will do control shift alt e command option alt e take and combine all together this will create new layer we'll go it's hair and in the hair we'll go to filter stylize oil painting okay we'll have a stylization 10 clean and stand let's go to scale zero one so it's about all preset same things i want to use it the um lighting enable it will give it a little bit more depth look we can preview right here you can see the strikes let's go click ok and i want to emphasize a little bit more so we'll go filter sharpen and sharp mask pop up a little bit harder on those lines let's go in around 150 click ok you can see we have better sharper looking on our hair we don't need everywhere else so for that we'll hold alt and click on the mask and hide mask okay the reason we're doing this if you look on the hair hair we perceive as the one single line however when we shoot with pixelization we have this cross cut which is look like a noise uh with this filter all what we do we kind of remove uh, some of those vertical lines uh emphasizing and removing horizontal lines so you can see like right here was before and after so it's a little bit cleaning remove horizontal make more vertical look 
and let's give it perception of the clean hair. It's all what we do as well as a brush. If you're going more with a painter painting effect, this will give you perception of the brush stroke. Um, if we do in another areas, it may affect also how flowing over all lines and it will look very um, too artificial for us. We don't want to do this, but that techniques it's work very well on the hair and on the fur as well. And in some cases we can hide like artificial flowers or other elements anywhere where we want to kind of hide some elements that will work very well. Okay, so next what I want to do after we add this, um, let's work a little bit on the eyes as well. For this we'll go to create curve. Okay, and we'll set curve to the blending mode overlay. We'll have a top and bring a little bit up like top curve. So it will add higher contrast and also color saturations to some areas. We don't want to do everywhere. We want to have a smoother curve. We want to do just to the eye. So we can have control command I on the arrow mask. So it's become hidden. Select wide brush color. We can come closer to eyes. Let's reduce a little bit size of the brush. And we can paint in and you can see it just a little bit brightening up add contrast and make them stand out a little bit more okay be careful on that we don't want to do too much before and after you can see it just brought a little bit same if you have it like with lips you want to add a little bit more color to the lips you can do just slightly it's work very well on the red color bring attention to this there you go um, the same things you can do on the hair and if you have it like highlight strikes here we can emphasize them as well with the same tool we'll just go over continue with those highlights how they're going right here and this will increase so this is a kind of a little bit more detail detail enhancing we don't want to do in the black but just highlights in some areas like right there Okay, let's go preview here's the before and after just a little bit add highlights to areas okay so this let's add some texturing to overall uh, elements like cloth and other things for this with control shift alt e command option alt e to create new layer and this one we'll call details okay we'll go to image adjustment we'll go to black and white and in black and white will pop up red and yellow so skin tones a little bit up let's go click ok image adjustment shadow highlights and if you're in this mode where you see small adjustments click on show more options so it will expand we'll go into radius for this image this size will go with 10 pixels you want to go between 10 and 15 pixels you don't want to change too much in this area we'll take eye mount for the highlights and shadows all the way up and working with the tone will bring down will kind of work on that element with a soft light so we won't be sure 50 percent great invisible darker will enhance and so is highlights so we'll just create kind of like a little bit preview this way click ok next i want to emphasize a little bit more on those contrast areas for that we're going to sharpen use done sharp mask and if we look you can see how we enhance it maybe around uh, let's go with 80 percent click ok and we'll switch this to soft light mode. Okay, let's see what's happening right now. You can see we already have quite a bit of contrast. And other things, mostly what I was saying, it is these details look like on her clothes. You can see how much details increasing on a texture and tiles. These techniques work very well if you need to create like sport look or other things. We don't need so extreme, so I'm going to take it down to maybe about 20-25% just a little bit increase of that um, effect of the texturing here so at this time we created our retouching we smooth we touch hair add highlights to the eyes and hair and add a little bit utilization so at this point i think we can work with uh, some dodge and burn we'll go create new layer uh, let's call it dodge and burn and on this layer we go to fill up with 50 percent gray switch to the soft light should be get more invisible 
and we're going to use a black and white brush soft 10 percent musty to paint in some of the shadows and highlights we already have a nice uh, setup lighting so i will just emphasize a little bit in some areas and mostly restore some highlights to when we need it so we'll go. let's go start with the face uh, right here switch to the white and add a little bit spectral lighting on a nose because it's a come closer we also can add a little bit more highlights under eyes creating this triangle view as the rembrandt lighting on the lips we can increase volume of the lips just adding on the middle a little bit more white and darker under so again the luminosity is how we control shape in two dimensions shadows and highlights and that's what we're doing we just working with the, this element to creating a little bit those highlights okay same we can do with the fingers just add a little bit shadowing to separation of the object right here add a little bit highlights some elements and on her face we can preview okay this was before and after we don't need to do too dramatic but just give it a little bit more interesting attention to the details and other elements okay with our black we still can hiding some elements here let's go to add to the legs and how i said before we start hiding a little bit more on the legs so we'll go create darker because we don't want it bring this too much attention to this just create a little bit dark there and again this is our going just focusing mostly on a model right now we'll work on the background in a second okay right here let's add a little bit highlights on her shoulder and i'm using up and um, i'm using bracket key to create brush wider open or more collapse so we'll just add right here um, if you have a hard time to figure out where I should put highlights and shadows, just emphasize overall on your body shape. So that will help you kind of going a little bit right there. Okay, and we can go from all of this, hiding a little bit down. Okay. The reason is why I'm hiding down because if we look at this is face, it's important we do want to see the leg going here because it's creating a nice flow overall. But I don't want to take too much attention to this. So this is our body dodge and burn. We can go create another global dodge and burn, which will go to all our images. And the same will go fill up this 50% gray, switch to the soft light, and in this point. I can create just like right there they, we don't need this area and this is a lot of negative area which nothing there and the best way to balance this we have a small bright and large area dark that way we'll can have a very beautiful balance going between again we're hiding a little bit more on the legs Remember, this is all what we're doing. It's a balancing, and we're balancing this light right here where we're creating with the dark on the side. So almost like going to the black right here. Okay, sometimes Dutch and Burmay does not give you enough of the dark. On this case, we can create new layer, switch this to the multiply mode, which is going from white to darker. Let's go call it shadow and with this same we can just add that way we can actually going to 100 black if we need it on the multiply mode which is a very strong way and as i say you can see we hide the, her nails away kind of creating all of this little bit more darker in the shadows i also go like black and we'll go from brighter to down we can add a little bit more shadows right here on her arm there you go you know, creating this light going up can okay, dodge and burn let's go back to this layer switch to the white 
and from here I want to create this kind of light ray going on almost. You can see we're overriding a little bit on the back. And the reasons I want to bring slightly her um, face out, kind of almost like stop lights and light dissipating this way. So just a little bit that way. Okay. I think before we apply color, so let's go ahead, combine all of this in one folder and we can preview. So this is what we have before and after. So all what we've done and just retouching her and majority playing with the shadow highlights. And you can see figure right here, she's kind of, it's not bad, but I think a little bit last right here, we have more focus on her face and give it this uh, kind of emotional, more attachment to this. So let's go on next. We'll go create a new filter, a new layer. And like I said before, we need to restore some of the grain and noise. And if we look, the reason is why, because we smoothed here, but in other areas, we have a little bit higher noise, like on the background. So with this, we can go fill up with 50% gray. Going to the filter, noise, add noise. We're going to add about 10%, don't need it too much. Um, black and white uniform switch to the soft light and in this case if we look closer now we have a little bit more uniform grain that going matching all the stuff maybe it's too high let's go down to maybe about 50 percent like right there where we have it matching going across it's and help restore some of the um, skin in this case uh, next let's go to work with uh, some color adjustments and we begin with uh, our selective colors. Let's go switch black. And a black, I usually just bring just slightly out of shot, not too much because we we'll, don't want to use too much. And we'll switch to the colder lights. And the colder lights, it's help us with a cyanish cold, which work very good with your skin tone. You can see right here, we have kind of bluish cyanish color. Let's go to neutral and this is total personal, personal opinion. You can switch how you much you like it or change whatever you want it. And this one will switch a little bit more to the warmer color. A little bit too much red. There you go. Just have it, this combination play between coloring one and another one. So it's give it us a nice look. Okay, our whites, it's this one bright. We can just a little bit actually bring them up and yeah let's go just a little bit in a cold there yellow is she there you go just keep it a little bit in a light coloring okay let's go ahead next we can also play a little bit with a red and red will be on her skin we can flatten but i think just bring a little bit deeper in will be work nice and here's again we can have it a little bit colder um, I think just a little bit pinch warm, but there is a cyan going add casting because it is still a little bit darker. So we'll just have it right there. Okay, before and after. Okay, nice coloring overlay. Let's go create another curve. And this is curve will be color. Usually I create multiple different areas switch the color mode, the different layout uh, layers. So you can adjust a little bit so you don't need it to do too much. But it's again a senior curve. We're going to restore in this case. And I'm not sure if we're keeping. I'm just creating and see because we add a little bit more saturation. Oh, I don't like this one. So let's go pop up too strong, leave it down. We'll create new layer, new curve. And this curve will be luminosity. Okay, we'll go switch the blending mode to luminosity. And at this point, you can see we can also modify slightly even more, but bring curve down right here, maybe. Just increase some contrast will last a little bit, but okay, yeah, I think this way will work. A little bit going in a darker colors. I think this way would look nice. Okay, so far this is what we have. And actually, you know what? Let's go take all of that stuff and drop in our retouching folder. 
Okay, I want to be sure they're on the top located right there where they're supposed to be. And again, what we have before and after. We'll just add a little bit story with the light. It's all what we did. Mm, kind of focusing more on a face and facial stuff. Uh, we could look a little bit on a framing. I think from beginning it was not bad. We could just maybe even cut slightly right here. The general what I want to do is keep it about the same size from the head to the foot, which is actually was an original about right was about right size from here to here. Maybe pinch up like right there. Okay, the same our eyes composition for her was fine. We could bring a little bit narrower like around there. So it's a very few pixels. It was straight out of camera was kind of already formatted properly, which would make work a little bit easier. And again, right here, this is size from here into head. I want to be similar. And I think the overall lights, we have it in one third here. If we preview this, you can see she's located like about in this area, one third and two third is darker. Um, about composition speaking, because the white and brighter get more attention, kind of draw bigger. We want to in a smaller area and a darker colors we want to expand in longer. So right here we have it about two thirds of the image, which is darker color and one third, which is a brighter luminosity level. So this way we kind of have a nice balancing going. And beside, if you do this for any publications or anything, you can always just go and have a nice, beautiful area to put it your um, text if you want it anywhere. So all what we need to do here is put it uh, our name. Okay, let's go position. And usually I'm just positioned somewhere in a corner, hide away from the people. We don't need too obvious, just a little bit the people who are interested can see but overall it does not distract from all image okay thank you for watching this video hopefully you find it's useful and helpful in some processing of your photos it's very simple steps it's a very solid workflow but it's produced very good result and when you're done for several times you can optimize and run this quite a bit fast to creating very nicely somewhat painterly look portraits if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, put it likes, notification, click on notification icon and share with other people. It will help me to bring uh, popularity of my channel a little bit up and uh, just let me know you guys enjoying these videos. Thank you again and have fun time to retouching and creating your own photos.